Hello and welcome back to episode 27 of Heir of Ruthenia. We're playing as Ruthenia in EU4 with the Annabella mod and the Mini Roos update. We have extended ourselves all the way across the Siberian frontiers. We now border the Pacific Ocean. So that is good for us. That's about where we wanted to be. Now, I believe... Like, we still need to finish up getting Finland taken care of, but Scandinavia is allied to Lotharingia, which is causing me not issues, per se. Like, I just... It's a lot to fight. 100,000 Scandinavians, 300,000 Lotharingians, and about 300,000 naval units to our 52. Like, our navy won't do anything in this upcoming war. Except get clapped on. Um, we'll go ahead and upgrade those units, sure. But yeah, our navy is definitely uh, not very strong. Every time I try to use them, it, uh, it just does not work out for us. I do need to find a way to get these um, taken care of, though. The British, the Britannians... Could be an intriguing ally. They might be helpful for us. We do have the Diplo slot to pull it off. 100,000 more men, but a large navy would definitely be helpful. Let's make an alliance with Brittany, or the Britannians, and see if that will help us out. So we'll do what we can in there. We're currently annexing Serbia. So that is also going to help us out. Now, do you guys have any rivals? No, we pretty much the top power blocks are all rival to each other. So, yeah, pretty much from everyone five up, I'm not going to be able to ally any of these guys because they either hate me or they like people that I'm I like. The con's also an issue. I could go for a. Bengal Alliance, are they that strong though? 200,000 versus 100,000. I mean, Bengal wouldn't be a bad option. Maybe I improve with them and try and get them to ally me as well, and then they can help us out with Juan and Takan in the future. Get ourselves allies in both areas. But there are some pretty strong power blocks that have established themselves in, these, uh, in this playthrough, so... Here we just need the Enlightenment and we'll get this taken care of. What other missions do we still have to do? We have to take over some provinces from these guys, but that's going to require a war with one. And last time I went to war with them, it didn't go too swimmingly. And then colonize Alaska. This we actually need to go to war with the one over, so... That'll happen at some point, I'm sure. Dragon and the Tsar. That requires us to either be an ally with the Emperor of China or defeat them in a war. So, that is that. And then lastly, we need... Some more town halls and state houses, and we can get this taken care of. This, we just need to... We need to get the furnaces, so that's going to take us a little bit. And then this is going to require us to either embrace or get rid of the revolution. So we've almost completed this mission tree. Uh, do we want to seize land? We really can't because of the Cossacks. I could see if they'll give us a mission that would let us do it. I don't even have a Cossack mission, so... Other option is to sell titles and seize land back, which would... It's just messy. It's a messy deal. This would be a claim against Lotharingia. This is just to boost up our navy, which we probably should do anyway, or go for a university in Sargard. I think that is a much better choice. 
boom, university will get built. We still have yet to start our golden era. Still not quite ready to do it yet, but it is something we're going to have to do. How is our governing capacity looking, by the way? Not great. I think I do want to, at the very least, trade center this province. That'll help us establish a third trade company, which will help us here. Okay. We could raise Streltsy too, but not really much point in doing that. Because we're over force limit anyway, but we need to get our navy built up, so... Maybe I'll build up a bunch of heavies. So we'll get them going together. We'll get some manpower up. That's good. We got all this going. Um, I guess maybe we attack Nasea. Take some of their land. Cleves won't even help them. We just need a diplomat and we can do this. Uh, there's not really much reason for us to do this. I'll just take the loss on innovativeness for now. We'll get it back soon. Uh, let's go ahead then and call back one of you guys. I think I'm going to wait until I like, can ally Bengal because I would like that alliance. I think that'll be useful for us. Just getting ourselves a couple strong allies on both sides of the map so Britannia can help us over here with Lotharingi and Scandinavia. Bengal can help us next time we go to war with the Wan. 500,000 men, that's insane. And they're just passing reforms like crazy. We'll need to figure out a way to get them taken care of. But anyway, Nisi is on the table then. Let's attack them as soon as this guy gets back. Um, are we really converting any provinces right now? Not really. So I think tolerance of the true faith is the way to go. Alright, we should be able to attack them now. Their allies still won't help them. I mean, honestly, my subjects will most likely take care of most of this battle, or this war. Let's start up with currying some favors from these guys so we can use them in wars. Go in the wrong direction, curry favors is here. But yeah, um, admin tech, we're going to be ahead of time, but the administrative efficiency will be useful. Yeah, I think it's worth it. We'll go ahead and take that. Let's go through then and continue building up town halls wherever we can. We need to get them governing houses built up too. Two of these guys don't have a leader. Let's recruit some then. I think I'm okay to go back to not using war taxes. I was using them to keep our economy steady while we were... While we were struggling with our income for a little bit there. But it's not really necessary at this point. There we go. Take care of their army. Bam. And then... Send you on to their capital. And we're getting this cleaned up pretty nicely.
But now Serbia is ours. I'm tempted to get the gold mine under our control, but I don't think it's super necessary at the moment. I would like to probably integrate Croatia next. Uh, none of these age abilities are super useful for us anymore, so I will just take uh, we'll take the stadium. We might use it at some point, maybe. Probably not. I very rarely even remember that one exists. Did we lose a battle somewhere? I mean, these guys... Oh, these must have been the Serbians. This must be Serbia's troops, so... Yeah, you know what? I'll combine these two armies. That's fine. Should probably just annex Bulgaria soon, too. The Timurids. That is definitely something worth working towards. Timurid Vassal, we could really... That would be worth pushing for a huge war with the Nizarids. That would definitely be worth my time. To reconquest all of this land over here. Because I already got the Seljuks too, so I can get whatever little bit of land they have left as well. Okay, we'll clap up their army. That should be what's left of them. So... It looks like the Chepnids have all of the claims. And that is fine. I'm going to give the Chepnids everything they have claims on. claims here and here too. No claim on that. I can't full annex Nicaea yet. Nicaea yet. Maybe I just isolate them? And then we can get the rest in another war. I'll go ahead and core those two provinces that I took. The Chepnids have all the rest of them. take five years for Bulgaria or more for we'll annex Bulgaria next I think yeah we'll start annexing Bulgaria uh, you're working on subjects we've created enough favors with them for now that's fine so now we need to start working on getting this Timurid alliance and then vassaling, vassalizing them. Shouldn't be too difficult. The hardest part is that we're not going to be able to get a royal marriage with them. But... Money does talk. We can do some guarantees and such as well. There's a guarantee, we can offer the military access, and now we just need to wait a little bit, and then they're our subject. So, Nizarids are most likely my target next, because, well, I'm going to reconquest the Timurid cores from them. Kilwa, Sind, and Yao. Kilwa's a little big, Yao is small. 
but we're going to need, if we're doing this, we need to get all of our armies kind of positioned to deal with the Netherids, so we'll go ahead and get you guys there. You guys are already kind of all down here already. I didn't realize they had this, so we've isolated them except for this one island they have right here, one half of um, Crete. Still could raise Streltsy, we don't really need to. Uh, what, what did I maintain? Was it this one? You guys don't have any rivals either. Uh, what can we do? We literally need a tiny bit more on our I guess a subsidy because I don't think having them steer trade no that doesn't do it So we're going to have to give them subsidies. We'll just do like five ducats a month just to get them to the point. There we go. Vassalize them. Awesome. And now we could... go for a massive reconquest war against the Nizarids. Who we do outnumber by quite a lot. Brittany won't help. Bengal won't help either. They're both too far away. Nizarids rivals are my rivals as well, so we won't be able to do anything with rivals. We could also go this way, too, with the Timurids, and we could weaken Dakon without having to deal with Juan at the same time. Wow, 650,000 men. Jeez, that is insane. Now, I am going to go ahead and cancel my subsidies. I just needed those to get them under our control. Uh, influence ideas, the Diplo rep. I could have also waited for that if I would have realized it was coming. That'll help my um, annexation, definitely, get it done two years faster. So that is good. Um, overall, I'm just going to throw this over here. We'll at least try and do what we can with that to get them... To be a little bit better for us. I just want to take a look. If I were to declare war on them. I could call in Britannia. Which would definitely help. With the naval situation. But not so much with the armies. I mean, I do still outnumber the Lotharingians, but. And we got Nordmark up here. Bloody does still exist. We filled up our Diplo slots again. I do want to make sure that. Wait, what are these three ships here? Frigates. Uh, why don't you protect trade in. Crimea. Just join up with that navy. I do have a lot of generals moving on. This mission's at the bottom of the tree, right? So that's enough town halls, so we need to focus on state houses now.
expand administration cost minus 25%. That's not bad. That's a nice little bonus. An astonishing performance. I'll just take the admin points. That is perfectly fine by me. What uh, What is our current icon? Icon of St. Michael. That's because we need our manpower up. Now that our manpower is good, we could swap to somebody else. Uh, we're not currently on one of these yet. We need to wait till 1700 to get the Enlightenment. A half or half price theologian, huh? And he is Ruthenian too. We don't really need the. We don't need the devotion either. I mean, I guess I'll take him. We'll lose production, though, if we take that. And I'm not really a fan of losing the production. Uh, we can go ahead and take the Patriarch Authority. Uh, what I want to do, actually, is swap to... Uh, you know, none of those really help. We'll just keep the Icon of St. Michael. That's fine. Yeah, our income is still struggling quite a bit. They're attacking Delhi. So Sin wouldn't join them now. I think this is probably going to be my best opportunity to attack the Nizarids. We're going to go for a reconquest of... It doesn't matter. We'll go for just one. I am going to send my main men kind of down into this area and push towards... Where is their capital, actually? Is it Alexandria? Yeah, Alexandria is their capital. Okay. So yeah, we'll push down towards Alexandria with our main forces. And then... Uh, then we'll push over into the lands that we're trying to conquer but I want to get there we want to we want to take out the core of their country first there we go you guys don't have one either Now we can bring this army over too. So we're going to need the cannons. This army is mostly troops. For the most part, we should be able to distract them just just enough to ruin their other war. Now, we don't want to push on down to El Quds yet. Now, instead... Make sure you stay here and back up these guys. Okay, we have annexed Bulgaria, so we're going to have their troops with us as well. I'm just going to have them retreat, though. And we can rebuild them from there. And then these navies, we can upgrade three ships. And then we'll send you up to... 
join this trade fleet. We'll move on down to Jerusalem. I guess I don't have an army over there anymore. And we should take Jerusalem pretty fast. Do we we I was gonna say, do we have a um spy network here? We don't. So let's build a spy network on them. Let's make sure that we are improving relations with our um, allies as well. Just make sure they stay nice and happy with us. We don't want to upset them too much. We will be relying on them at some point in the future, I'm sure. Now we'll get focused on their capital. That's another siege done. You guys can head down here and deal with that. And yeah, I'll just leave this army back a little bit. Yeah, fielding our army is quite expensive for us. I'm going to send my main army down to really do some damage that way. This army, I'm just going to tell them to focus on sieging in Egypt. An innovation wave. And now we're starting to lose quite a bit of money. I'm just going to roll with this guy for now. Development cost should be okay. Probably going to have to do a little bit of development just to keep ourselves in a good spot. Okay, there's the Siege of Baghdad. We took out a loan. Let's go ahead and stack our troops up on this fort. And I'm going to send you guys down here to start on sieging some of their stuff. We can go ahead and blow the walls open there. Well, they're going to jump on me on this fort. Oh, they reconsidered. We took the fort. That's awesome. What did I declare for exactly? It was Kiva. So we need to get up here. Siege down Kiva. That's going to be pretty important for us. A pretty big win against one of their armies. Siege of Kaffa is over. I'm 
just going to tell these guys to do some autonomous sieging up here in the horn. I guess I'll just lose the army professionalism. It's not the best option, but... I would rather lose some a little bit of army professionalism than a lot of what else we could. Okay, this... These guys are pretty much out of the war. I just need to get off their land so I don't get black flagged when I piece them out. I'll get you over here. You can go down and start dealing with the Kiwans. And oh man, here comes Delhi. Now, I do always find that funny. That the computer would rather fight me than finish off their war against the weaker opponent over here. Instead, they'll let them siege them down and they'll come and fight me. It's a little outrageous sometimes, I think. Okay, so they're trying to take back Alexandria. They're probably going to get it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up here and take care of them there. And they've taken one of our forts as well. You guys, I do want you to come down here and get this fort. They took back Baghdad. Okay, we can peace out you guys, so I want Horeb's trade power and money. I don't want any of your land. I want you to end a rivalry too if you can. No, that's fine. Horeb's trade power, money. The trifecta. We finished a colony over here. Oh, we do still have one army over here, but I'm going to leave them on this side just in case we need them for rebels. We could take this. And yeah, so far I, I think that's actually fine. I'll, I'll go ahead and take that for now. Didn't I send... I thought I told these guys to head up here. Uh, you can get up here too. Kilwa has 86,000 men. Okay, they're taking back a lot of the sieges at this point. Okay, go ahead and take care of their armies. We'll blow the walls and take this back immediately. We're going to do the same here. I'll actually take that money, that's fine. I could really use it, actually.
Okay, if we can take their capital, we'll be in good shape there. I think I might just take this. We're really far ahead of time, but the governing cap is going to be a huge help. And, uh... Yeah, overall, I think that's just the best option for us at the moment. Okay, we've taken back Alexandria. The Nizards have snuck over there. That is definitely annoying. And it's really annoying that Delhi has done so much of this. Because those are all provinces that I want, but I don't control them, so... Can you get down here? No. Okay, good. Deli pieced out. So. It's going to be more than one war. Yeah, that's how much I can take in one war if I 100% them. You autonomously siege all of this. That'll help us out. I do have the ticking war score. I can get 17 more war score that way. We're going to go ahead and siege down a couple more of their forts. Can I blow the walls here? I cannot. Are you pure streltsy? You're not pure streltsy, but you're not big enough to, pour, to blow the walls. So I'm kind of waiting for that siege to finish so I can peace out kill Wa. Unless they're willing to white piece right now. They'll even give me money. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to get them out of the war. Because they're a little bit more than I want to have to deal with. And the Nizarids do have low enthusiasm. So getting a couple more of their forts taken care of. Should work wonders for us. I will send this guy up to take back those forts that they took from me. We lost a battle here. Okay, not good. Not good at all. I hate when they do that. Where? Oh, I sent them up here. Okay. took that fort. Let's take this one. Actually, you guys are close up here. Get get down here and deal with these guys on Baghdad. I'll take whatever here. It doesn't matter.
Oh, they fled. Did they catch up to me somewhere? It said I lost a battle. Maybe I just didn't see it. I think I'm going to wait and take the last influence idea and then I'll finish off the idea groups. Was it this army? This army got dogpiled on and killed. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to end this war now because I'm going to have to come back anyway. But we did take a very large chunk of the Timurids. We took that Seljuk province. I can annex these guys pretty quickly, actually. And then overall, let's just get all our men and tell them to head home. And wow, I realized that I went way over on this episode because I got so focused on that Nizarid war. But, uh, yeah, that's a good place to end the episode. If you liked the episode, I'd appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.